The wait has finally come to an end, the RTX 2080 is finally out, today with us guys I got the Gigabyte RTX 2080 in this video we're gonna unbox this one, ray tracing, Ansel and deep learning, super sampling, a lot of technical shenanigans, anyway I got you covered guys, let's dig into it. Hey, how is it going guys? Robin here on Chips Entertainment, bringing you the best tips and tools for gaming on the channel. You'll find PC components, tech gadgets and console accessories, as well as product reviews and unboxings such as this one. So if you are interested in that, consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any UC uploads on my end. And in this video, we got to unbox uh, the RTX 2080, this one from a Gigabyte. We got the WinForce OC 8 g more specifically and if we're looking at the box here it says ray tracing uh, gddr6 uh, the new memory of course newer faster memory modules we got dx12 and we got something called ansel a lot of stuff going on on the front here see that um, logo that gigabyte is known for reminds me of that no fear logo type if you guys remember that one so what's so special about this particular graphics card well this is actually one of the cheapest rtx 2080 cards out there right now these cards are quite expensive because of the uh, touring architecture nvidia is opening up ray tracing for the first time and and since there's basically no competition out there we have to pay premium for this and as you can see guys pretty expensive graphics card still one of the cheapest RTX 2080 cards out there right now it is also slightly overclocked from factory however this is not a binned GPU so how well this will overclock is very hard to tell at this moment we have to try overclocking to find out how well it performs this is all basically the silicon lottery if we are lucky we might end up with a super 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 sample of an overclockable card but we'll find out how lucky we are in terms of the silicon lottery anyways let's uh let's just flip the box around oh well we got rgb fusion look at that wind force oc edition all right Oh, let's flip the box around and see what we got. 382 millimeter Unique blade fans actually alternate spinning for e efficient heat dissipation. So this is something that Gigabyte is actually taking very seriously because they got a patent on this. Uh, what this basically means is that, uh, as you can see here, basically the fans are spinning in the opposite direction of each other to, uh, to, to basically solve the turbulent airflow of... Um, several fans basically so the biggest problem with several fans is turbulence right since the fans rotate in the same direction the airflow direction is opposite between the fans which will cause turbulent airflow and reduce heat what gigabyte has done is that they have turned the middle fan in the opposite direction so that the airflow direction between the two fans is the same effectively reducing the turbulence and enhancing the airflow pressure pretty advanced stuff if you ask me what else do we got rgb fusion and uh, yeah we got some unique fan blades as well gonna find out what that really means so we got something called 3d active fan which basically provides semi-passive cooling and the fans will remain off when the gpu is in a low load or in a low power game so so it basically allows for a silent system when you're not um, pushing the graphics card so to speak very nice many graphics card has this it's almost standard these days anyway we got one click super overclocking as well um, using the Aorus engine which is the software you need to install but most importantly we got plenty of power here for overclocking and we got a backplate as well and to sum it all up we got four years of warranty let's see here let's see let's bring the bad boy out of its cage right so we got a black box with uh, a gigabyte text here let's open it up let's open the box let's open the box and there's a box inside the box this is not the graphics card now is it no it's not what is it though 
We got a quick start guide. I've got some high value drivers here as well. I don't even have a CD drive. So uh, that might just be an issue for us. Obviously, I'm joking here, guys. You should download the drivers online anyway. So let's see. Here's the card. Nice, nice, nice. Let's bring it out. Nice black back plate. Nice. So this is a two slot cooler. So if you want to duel these up, <laughs> if you can, if you can afford it, you can do it in a, uh, and you should be able to do that in a mid-sized um, case, so to speak. Should we get rid of this box? Is there anything else in here? Let's find out. Let's have a look. No, that's it. That's all there was. <laughs> Let's just focus on the card now. So what do we got here? We got three 82 millimeter fans here. So this is basically the Windforce 3 cooler or the 3X cooler, so to speak. Gigabyte text here and we got GeForce RTX here. Not sure if this is going to light or not. This is definitely going to light that I can see. We got a single 8 pin connector and we got an additional 6 pin connector here, which I don't know why they did this. I don't know why they decided to go this way, but it looks super stitchy. Let's flip the card around. So in terms of connectivity, what do we got? We got a display port, we got a USB Type-C, we got an another display port and we got a HDMI and another display port. So effectively one, two, three display ports, one HDMI and one USB Type-C. Um, we also got, and this is fancy, the NV Link. So this is basically SLI 2.0. Uh, if you can afford another card, you can hook them up via NV Link and uh, yeah, <laughs> experience RTX. Uh, in, a, in a new dimension, <laughs> I don't know. Not gonna do that in this video, but maybe in future videos if you guys wanna see that. I'm excited to give this card a try. It's, it's super expensive and it, and it quite heavy as well. Uh, I like the uh, back plate, the, the black back plate looks nice, looks very luxurious and uh, yeah, I cannot wait to dig into the overclocking. That's what we are gonna focus on now. So the overclocking is coming up, guys, and uh, you can find the links to this particular card in the description below. Find out more about specific specs, etc. But guys, that's gotta cut it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, have an awesome day. All right, bye. So the wait is finally over, guys. Santa came early, and he brought us the Gigabyte GT. It's actually an RTX, this one.